Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. In the studio today, we have a Jackson Guitars JS1X Minion Bass. Let's check it out. This is a cool little 28.6 inch short scale bass. It's from Jackson Guitars. It has a poplar body, maple neck, bolt on, and an amaranth fingerboard. The really standout things about this guitar are the classic pointy headstock shape, really cool looking fingerboard inlays, and the 28.6 inch short scale. The electronics package on this bass are Jackson Guitars branded PJ pickups. This bass is completely passive with the control panel being volume for the neck pickup, volume for the bridge pickup, and master tone. So let's start with the P pickup uh, by itself and the tone knob rolled all the way down. Let's roll the tone knob up to about 25%. 50. And now P pick up wide open. Now, let's use both pickups, the P and the J, and we'll start with the tone knob all the way down. Tone knob at 25%, both PJ pickups. Fifty percent. And now PJ pickups with a tone knob wide open. J pickups soloed with a tone knob at fifty percent. Now let's hear this bass in the context of a drum track. Here we go. Yeah. 
Hope you enjoyed that playing example. Please let me know which sounds you like the best, and please leave some comments below. It is a fun little bass. Let's start with some of the things I like about it. This finish, this satin black uh, finish, looks really, really cool. And I gotta say, if uh, if you and your band are taking lots of photos uh, live at the uh, at the gig or at the clubs. Uh, satin finished guitars tend to photo better because there's fewer reflections of lights and other stuff going on. However, if you are the kind of player who really doesn't like having your fingerprints uh, on your bass or you really like wiping it clean, then uh, this is harder to get fingerprints off. As I mentioned earlier, I really like these kind of tooth inlays. I think it looks uh, really, really cool. In terms of playability in the neck, Compared to the Ibanez Micro and the Squire by Fender uh, Mini P, I like this neck the best. And all three of those are 28.6 inch scales. Uh, but there's something about uh, the shape of this neck that for me in my hands, I find of those three, this is the most comfortable one to play. Now let's talk about some of the things I don't like about this bass. I think this, this bass with, with this given aesthetics kind of makes you want to play a certain way uh, and it kind of leans you towards the, uh, the, the heavier side of things. Uh, and as such, I find these pickups, it lacks a bit of body for me uh, and it sounds a little thin given the rest of the aesthetics of the bass. Another problem with these pickups is they're also slightly larger uh, than what the other dimensions of this bass uh, are. And what I mean by that are, uh, this is advertised as a 1.5 inch nut, but in reality it measures at 1.4 inches, and this is 18 millimeter string spacing at the bridge. But I put up a photo here. As you can see, the strings pass slightly on the inside uh, of the midline of the pole pieces. And what I think actually happened is these pickups were designed for 19 millimeter string spacing at the bridge, uh, but they also used it in this minion bass. But given the, the smaller uh, bridge string spacing here, the strings are just more narrow than what the pull pieces are allowing for. I don't think that will significantly alter the tone, but I do think from an aesthetic point of view, I don't like the way it looks. If Jackson Guitars were to ask for my opinion, Given how this bass looks, I would actually say, uh, why don't you put ceramic bar type uh, pickups in this bass where the pickup covers don't have pole, exposed pole pieces. I think both tonally it would be a bigger, perhaps higher output, more aggressive sound. Uh, but also then, if you don't have exposed pole, piece, pole pieces, uh, you won't have those kind of alignment issues I just talked about. Another thing I'll point out are these tuners. Now, hardware on more entry-level budget uh, type bases are going to be more variable. And the issue I ran into with these tuners, they stayed in tune fine uh, and they tuned up just fine, but the amount of resistance in each tuner was variable. Uh, so all four of these felt slightly different from each other. And that's just a small thing, uh, but it was enough for, for me to mention. At time of filming, this Jackson Guitars Minion Bass is selling for 279 Canadian dollars, which is similar to the Ibanez Micro and the Squire uh, Mini P. I think it is a fun guitar. I think it looks cool. 
the looks can be a bit polarizing. Uh, so the you know the restaurant gig that I typically play with a singer songwriter, I might get some funny looks if I bring the jacks into that restaurant gig. But otherwise, if you're a rocker, this might just fit. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll catch you next time.